starting from now, we uh, in January the, this year we will launch the iOS support, mm -hmm. and we have a new app we call Remote Files. Mm -hmm. This app is basically help you to go back to your PC or uh, your storage right. uh, to get your files. Mm -hmm. Like for example, I have a particular storage. Uh, Hard drive. I want to get this Acer Cloud new rele news mm -hmm. release. Yep. I can remotely access it. It go through Wi-Fi and also um, a serial network like three G, four G, LTE. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it doesn't. So you can be far away from your home, still mm -hmm. can access the file. And the same application we have on Android, the music we also support it on. So if you want to remotely access your music and photos, you don't need to go like. Those remote files is more like file based, but mm -hmm. this is more. So like you could stream it? Yes, you can mm -hmm. stream it like, for example, let me pick this song. You mm -hmm. can, um, you can st start streaming it. Mm -hmm. And I saw that there was a download button too, so if you wanted yes. to download the Yes, you file, can, you of could. course, if you want, you can download it and you put on the queue and start to download from your store, from your PC. Mm -hmm. um, to your phone? To your to my phone, so mm -hmm. I can listen offline, like for, in, for example in the plan. Um, Would the music be stored in this application or on the iPhone itself or? It's in iPhone, I mean but in this, this application. Within this, within yeah, this app. Because yeah. in iPhone it's a same box right. design, so you, yeah. you, you store in. And the same thing for, this is more remote files. Uh -huh. I think. And we have another big function uh, in Acer Car is called synchronization, and mm -hmm. of course, picture-wise, you see also you can see these cloud buttons. That those are mm -hmm. this picture that I have in um, either on my PC or on my or on my storage. Right. But here, like for example, for PicStream, now well, in last year we show that on Android, you take mm -hmm. a picture on Android, you go back to your PC, and now we also doing on iPhone, so mm -hmm. you can use your iPhone to take a picture. Mm -hmm. Like for example, let me take a picture of... And then we'll stream it to the cloud? Yes, you mm -hmm. will stream it to... Like, let me take a picture of the Acer logo there. Or to your yeah. laptop through the cloud. Yeah. Yeah. It will automatically back up to your PC mm -hmm. and your storage. Right. And also it will synchronize all among your devices. It's not limited to... to iOS to mm -hmm. iOS only, iOS to enjoy all cross-platform. So, so it'll update everywhere? Yes, it will mm -hmm. update everywhere. So wait a little bit, I just... Okay. And then once it uploads, mm -hmm. you'll be able to access it on your PC or yes. your phone or tablet? Yes, okay. so it should so be here, it should come down soon here. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing to your PC, so, so now you're... Mm -hmm picture on your, so for people who has like an iPhone mm -hmm. and they go out take pictures, they have Android tablet at home, mm -hmm. they can still get their picture mm -hmm. on the Android. Of course, PC we will always back up to the PC, so right. the master storage. And even if your PC is asleep, doesn't it wake up your PC somehow? Or I mean, uh, as long as it's on, I guess, even if it'll sort of wake it up that way? Yeah. Or? At this moment, we are still working on it. Mm -hmm. uh, we support it on, uh, Window, uh, Windows 7, mm -hmm. and Windows 8 is some, um, we're still working with still the working vendor. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the another thing about the document also, is, um, people using PC to do productivity works, they, they mm -hmm. create PowerPoints, Excels, and words, and this, and but people today start to only carry phone and tablet and go out. It's very sure. difficult, mm -hmm. I mean, people, if they want to move those data to their phone PC to their phone or tablet, mm -hmm. they either send themselves an email mm -hmm. or they, they use Dropbox or something sure, like that. But right. you have to prepare in advance. Mm -hmm. So if you work very fast out and you forget to do something, then you are bad luck. Right. So for Acer Cloud Duck, it's basically you can create some files, mm -hmm. like, let me see. Mm -hmm. And I can simply save it, mm -hmm. just like normal. And let me put it on this desktop. I don't need to do any extra things, and I can just go out and. So you don't even have to save it to like a special Acer no, Cloud folder or anything like that. No, you don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. And as, then you can just mm -hmm. and we will automatically push to Acer Cloud and store it in the cloud for thirty days for you. Mm -hmm. And but the original files still on your PC, Great. on your mm -hmm. on storage. Mm -hmm. Um, so I should open the docs mm -hmm. and skip this. Um, 
and the file will be pushed up to the cloud and oh, there it is. a new, yeah. new update. Mm -hmm. So it now we also support iOS, so these files are here. Mm -hmm. And we also supporting, Great. you can add it on Enjoy, mm -hmm. and you will automate it back to your uh, phone. Let me try this. Oh, so you're going to make a change here, and then yeah. I'll... Let me see. If... So you don't, you can make edits on any yes. device? The, yes. Mm -hmm. the, of course, now the iOS, is they, they, have, they don't have the <laughs> office sure. software on it. So the idea is mm -hmm. most of people will, may, they might need to do the last minute uh, editing on the phone or tablet, mm -hmm. but always they, after they've done it, they forget about it. Sure. And so what we do is we automatically push the, uh, mm -hmm. through the cloud and we also push back to your PC so you mm -hmm. have the latest version on the PC. That's uh, for the documents. And, Great. Uh, no, it looks good. Yeah. And we'll look, look forward to testing it out ourselves on iOS. Yeah.